I surprised myself. Um, I knew the shape was good coming into Swiss. Um, that I was uh, able to take the take the yellow jersey on, on stage two was uh, was incredible, and, and I had uh, four good days in the, in the young riders jersey also. So it's been a really nice race. It will be a tough day today, and I cannot look in the in the glass bowl what's going to happen. Uh, it would for us would be fantastic to keep him on the podium. Uh, shortened but incredibly tough. There's still three hard climbs, you know, all going up over decent altitude, over 2,000 meters. So I think that's going to play into our hands, and uh, it's going to be yeah, a very, very tough three, three and a bit hours. The race is let's say over after 75 kilometers because then it's down and 10 kilometers to the finish. So it will be yeah, the first three hours will be super, super intense. Depends on the race. If the guys from GC who are on two minutes go from the bottom of the climb the first time. Yeah, that will be a big explosion. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Achtung, in wenigen Augenblicken heißt es, Etappe frei, die Königsetappe wird gestartet. still too big and uh, for me 20 riders in, in those kind of in the valleys after the climbs you can kind of stop and start and people attack and uh, for me the perfect idea would have been five six seven eight riders yeah so everybody's working and there's no guy attacking um, so I just kept riding at my own pace I knew the pace could sustain and uh, yeah hopefully I, I was hoping for five or six like I say riders to come, come to me but nobody did I was just talking with the uh, fire chancellor and he told me uh, congrats because he, he, this is the, the fourth most important race. I want to, to rest a little bit, uh, stay at home in Andorra, stay calm, recover well and be ready and yeah, start the tour with uh, a lot of power.